Hey superstars, it's your best friend Scott and this is my November recap. Um, I have been absolutely swamped lately with work and life and you know how it goes, but I'm starting to dig out a little bit. I've got some updates for you and a shout out and some great, 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 great care packages plus a couple of pickups from the very end of October. So let's do it. Just looking at my notes here, uh, no VRs this time. Crazy, right? If I missed any, I do apologize. What else? Oh, the uh, home office. They want me to plug the Etsy store again. If you missed my last video, the holiday gift guide that I did, uh, I recently reopened my old Etsy store. I've got a lot of products that I still want to put in there, but uh, I'll keep you updated on that. But for now, I do have some fun t-shirts available. I'm wearing the Don't Eat the Gum shirt right now. And the uh, tobacco card shirts are doing pretty well. I've also got some original ink drawings from Inktober available. Link is down below if you want to check those out. Um, I can't really guarantee delivery on the shirts by Christmas if you order after December 10th. So if that's something that means something to you, there you go. Speaking of Christmas, I feel like I'm way behind on my holiday cards already. I've had some issues with the printer that I was using, so I've switched vendors. And then Don told me not to go nuts like I have in the past, so everybody's pretty much getting the same thing this year. And if you're disappointed in that, you blame Don. Um, I'll get those out as soon as I possibly can. And to all my Hanukkah friends, that, that just sounded wrong, Hanukkah celebrating friends, to, to all my Jewish friends, I'm going to be a little late this year and I do apologize. I just wanted to give a little random shout out to a newer channel that I'm enjoying, Hammer44. Hammer is putting a ton of effort into his videos and I really respect that and they're really, really great. His series, Preserving This Kid's Collection, is an awesome look at the stories from his personal childhood and collecting. Just so well thought out and put together. Really, really impressive stuff and it takes Hammer a long time to put out these videos, but you can easily see why and the wait is definitely worth it. So keep up the good work, Hammer. I got an envelope from my bestie Fourleaf with an official seal of achievement. Fancy! Oh yeah, I guess I should thank all of my besties that voted me into the YouTube All-Star team. I, I hope I'm being sincere. It's such a great feeling knowing that some of you think that highly of me. And this is kind of weird because I cut these stars out with my laser for Fourleaf and now I'm getting one back. And I'm, I'm very honored and this is so very cool. Thank you guys so much. I should have put an All-Star bonus incentive into my YouTube contract. I'll have to talk to my agent about that one. This next one is from my best friend Jason at the Basement Card Collector. Mr. Best Friend Reindeer Studios, I have been piling up some Cleveland cards for you for a minute now. I, like many others, love your channel. Thank you for being awesome. Your bestie, Jason. No, thank you, Jason. A colored pencil box? How fitting. Let's see. Ooh, this is rad. A Larry Doby card from the 5th Ever National. I love it, man. Definitely didn't have this one. Barton Bow, going straight back to 1989. That's awesome. Albert, Carlos, El Presidente, Jose Mesa, that's a neat stadium club, uh, Sports Illustrated Lindor, Bob Lemon, a die cut Mark Price, whoa, this is cool, an autographed Dennis Hasbert, Pedro Serrano custom card. He's very bad to steal Joe Boo's well. He's very bad. I absolutely love that. And a Pete O'Brien autographed Diamond King. Jason, these are amazeballs. Thank you, sir. This one is from my best friend, Rocket Rick. He held a giveaway and I didn't win, but he sent me prizes anyway after I told him not to. But nobody ever listens to me. It says, Dear Scott, enclosed, please find some vintage Cleveland Indians and one Hall of Famer who is with the club for a short time. I thank you for your best friendship. Ah, your BFF Rick. Let's see. We got a 1958 team card. There's Hoyt. I love that one. Most of the 58 Indians cards were yellow, but Hoyt was this cool lime green. Uh, 1960 Tito with a mouthful of Big League Chew. 61 Jim Perry. That's cool. And even cooler, a 1961 Al Rosen MVP card. I love him, Rick. Right up my alley. Thanks so much, dude. You all know where this one is coming from. My best friend Bradley Claus has been really busy, and I made the nice list. I think he needs to do some auditing of that list, though. Uh, Merry Christmas, Scott. Hope you enjoy the package. Your best friend, Brad8671. So let's check it out. Uh, Prime Cuts, Lou Boudreaux. I've never seen that before. That one's numbered even neat. Uh, this is Wild 2, a glittery gold chrome Ernie Clement rookie. Also numbered. Whoa, this one takes the cake, though. Souvenir Stamps Bob Feller Auto Relic. That is crazy awesome, Brad. Very cool, sir. I don't know how you send out so much great stuff to so many people, but I'm, I'm very honored that you thought of me. I love these. 
All right, this last one is from my best friend, Jason Aaron Goldberg. It says, hey, Scott, it's your best friend, Jag. See? Happy eight breaks of Hanukkah with 10 exclamation marks. Come on, Jason. It should have been eight, right? Enclosed are special goodies for you to enjoy, but definitely save the wrap auto relic adventure item for when the actual eight break starts so you can open something along with me. Thanks for all your fun content and amazing art. I'm always excited when a new video of yours drops. My best to you and your family this holiday season. Jason Aaron Goldberg. Aw, you guys are all too nice to me. Here's that auto relic adventure package that I have to wait on. I'll share that with you next month, but Jason was kind enough to include some goodies to tide me over. I love this Jose Ramirez Titans card. There's a platinum glove winner, Andre Semenis, Stephen Kwan, who's just a gold glover, but they can't all be platinum, right? There's my man, Alvaro, Candy, Corey, Cookie, El Presidente, Carlos, and Larry Doby. Jason, you're always so generous. Looking forward to your eight breaks this year. Thanks, dude. I did partake in No Card November again this year. At the very tail end of October, I did buy a couple things that sort of tied me over. And I've been trying to buy a Mars Attacks card every Halloween, so this year I bought Charred by Martians. Poor guy. And then this very cool Al Rosen Chuck Deering doubleheader. I've been after that one for a little while. And what's a reindeer video without a little Don Mossy, right? So here's a 66 Don Mossy and a PSA 8. And one of these days, Mossy cards are going to skyrocket and I'll be sitting on a gold mine. And then, of course, I didn't buy anything in November, so that's all I got to show off. Um, B. Roth tempted me a few times with some cool cards, but I was good. Go me. Oh, I did pick up this junk wax calendar from my bestie Andy at Flying Dutchman Cards on his Etsy store, but that doesn't really count, right? So that's it for now. I got to thank Four Leaf and all you guys for the All-Star Award and Basement Card Collector, Rocket Rick J18, Bradley Claus, and Jason Aaron Goldberg for the awesome care packages. Way too generous. Again, go check out Hammer44 and any of those guys if you're not familiar. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch. And if I don't talk to you before then, happy holidays. I should, you know, I should be better each time, but I'm not. But I got to smile. And as long as I smile, I'll do okay. <clears throat> Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott.